So my mom and sister just finished building this and it took them about two weeks. It has over 2,787 pieces. And I just want to show you the instruction manual itself. So this is, uh, in a way, is very high quality. It's very equivalent to the Lego Creator Series. So this is by Zing Bao and I hope I pronounced that correctly. So it is a very thick manual. It is your typical Lego style manual here. So you could see, you know, step by step, it shows you how to build it. And there are many, many little pieces here. So, but I just wanna bring across the point to you that it is a very thick manual and there is over 2,787 pieces here. After they finished building it, there were a bunch of spare pieces, as you could see. So you could, you know, add some, use all of these little pieces and add some design elements yourself. So let me get started here and give you a close-up view of the minifigures. And the minifigures, there are actually 10 of them. So, you know, and actually, maybe I should go around the store itself first. So if I spin the store around, you could see here, you know, that is the textile, where the person is selling the textile there. So those are all right there. It's a textile store. And you could see here, that there is a street sign and lanterns. And there is also a street sign here. And this moves. This particular one moves up and down. And you could see there is a mechanism there that moves it up and down. There's a balcony here where you could actually put the minifigures. You could see there's a cat right there. And a lot of dragon detail on the roof. So you could see just the shingles themselves. Uh, but let me rotate this around. Um, so I'm jumping all over the place right now, but uh, I do want to show you the minifigures. So the minifigures have all different sorts of uh, attire here. So it has a lot of formal wear, has a lot of uh, different types of hats and hair. And there are just seven here, but it, there's a total of ten minifigures. So, you know, just side by side comparison, you could see all the different types of clothing that they have and hats and hair and haircuts. There is also a wheelbarrow there. And right there, close up. And so there are seven minifigures there, as well as three in the store, which I'll show you later. And also, you know, a lot of uh, interesting elements. There's the cat, as I mentioned before. Um, on this other side here is the main entrance with the main doors. So let me just flip this around here. And you could see the street sign there. And this does have two levels. And here's the side of the house. Now, there is some quality control issues. So you will notice here at the bottom, there are some tiles that are warped. So I can't push it in because the, the base itself is a little bit warped, but also the Legos might be off by say half a millimeter uh, here and there, which might be enough. But overall, it was pretty decent quality. Here you could see the back of the house and here's the side of the house. Now the side of the house has a very unique design element here. And you could see this very uh, oriental type of, uh, I don't know whether I call it a window or something like that, but for, for people that watch a lot of um, martial arts movies or very classical uh, ancient era movies of uh, you know, Asian, you know, Japanese, Chinese, or Asian villages, you will see a lot of this type of emblem there. So this was a nice touch design element. 
and you could see that on the side here is nice brick to it and also the facade you could see this is a very classic looking facade of uh, you know an ancient oriental building you know so just zooming in here and the rooftop has the nice tiles and you know these dragon emblems and there is also a dragon statue on the rooftop here on the facade itself and also on the main roof so you could see that now on the side here you could see the doorway now those are stickers some of them are stickers while others are actually inscribed in the Lego itself and, and you could see here you know this is a little bit wobbly you know there's a give so, so there's the street sign here and the lanterns so there's a lot of lanterns and a lot of potted plants and you know there's the eighth mini figure just giving you a good look there and this is a balcony so I want to show you the balcony before I go into the interior here so you can see this is half brick and then half the classical I would say sort of like concrete look to it this door does open up I will show you the insides later on of course there's more lanterns here and I did show you this design element where the sign moves up and down and actually adjust so, so you could move it now all of this is somewhat a little bit fragile but this is not too different than all of the other creator series now there, there's another you know, balcony here and just just more of the details of the shingled roof so you can see that and you know more of the doorway here that I wanted to show and you can, you can see you know these other design elements that are right there and just going back and now I could show you the interior so just like any of the creator series I could take off the roof and the many different layers and so I could take off the roof let me set that aside and you could see here in the interior there are two extra minifigures and this particular area here is a dressing room so you could see there's a Lego person in the dressing room and you could see the curtains here and that's a nice little design element of the curtains this person is working right on the fabric itself so keep in mind this is a fabric store so let me zoom in here a little bit you can see the detail of the flooring there's wood flooring throughout. That particular item there is a mannequin. And you can see in the middle there, there's a bunch of different hats and also a little stove. And all the way down there is the stairs. You could see a picture. So there's also some decoration there as far as the picture. Let me rotate over to this other side and you can see this work area this person is working with you can see he has a bunch of drawers and desk and right here is the dressing room right there and let me now take this So let me go ahead and uh, take this section off and show you the next level. The second story and show you the next level. So I can lift this piece up and there you could get another look of the second story. And here's the inside of the first story here. 
So once again, you could see all the details. You could see the steps and the stairs winding all the way to the second floor. So that's a neat little winding staircase there. There's a plant. There's more textile pallets there. There's another painting and the details of the wood floors. This is the store owner. Right there, another mannequin. And in the back there is an entryway into this other area of the store. So this particular area, I have to lift up the roof and slowly nudge this out. So you could see this area of the room. And hidden in this room is a bunch of other textile palettes as well as mannequins of creating a lot of shirts and wardrobe. So just to show you this area, there's a clock here, as well as a seating area. And you can see all the shelves of the pallets. That's the door entrance way, which is right there. And you can see there's the salesperson or store owner. And let me rotate it and show you the top perspective from the other side. So this is the entrance. And you can see this these big doors so it just swings open and from the front perspective here you can see those are the doors so overall that is the Zing Bao and I do have um, the unboxing of all of the pieces and I will have a link in the description area of the video. I also have a link in the description area of the video of all of the other um, sets that are available. So you could take a look at that and uh, I hope this helps and uh, please subscribe and thank you for watching.